gotta say, it's lovely to be back here. There's some lakes where, you know, you go and do your time and then when it's over, it's over. And there's others where you leave and think, I've got to come back here again. And this is one of them. This is attained to Chavignac and we were here for a week last year and loved it so much we just had to come back. So here we are, we've got a week ahead of us and one of the lasting impressions we had of this place was one, how nice the people are here. Fabian and Katerine, they made us so welcome last year and you know they've done exactly the same again. It's, it's been lovely to see them. But the lake is it's not only beautiful, it's so peaceful. It's literally just us and the bird song. And yeah, I love a bit of that, bit of peace and quiet. But besides that, there's loads of lovely fish out here. It's been fishing pretty well lately by all accounts. It's been some very nice fish out and hopefully they haven't all been caught. <laughs> there's still some left for us, um, but it's going to be lovely for sure. You know, we're back and we're pleased to be back. And uh, yeah, very much looking forward to this week. Time was getting on that first evening, but there was fish showing all over the place. So I did no more than just put a few baits to where I saw fish showing. Well, it didn't take long. We've literally left Rainbow this morning, drove up to Chavignac and guys, well, packing all the gear down this morning and then setting it all up, I was worn out, but literally, just sat back for a rest and uh, yeah, it's gone off. But there have been some real lumps crashing out. There's been quite a lot crashing out. Uh, and I put this rod, didn't really know what dropped it over. I just put it to where the fish, or the most fish we'd seen. And uh, then they sort of moved down to the right. There was more showing down to the right. But it was this one that went off. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a huge one, but um, there have been, I've seen a couple of really big chunks crashing out. So <laughs> they're about, apparently there was only four fish out last week. So it's been a little bit like that. Everywhere, Rainbow was a little bit slow. Um, this has been a bit slow. We saw Jean Noel from Secret Garden. He said that's been a little bit slow. Um, but we've had a quick start. Jean Noel and Fabian, the owner, was was here when we arrived, and they've all gone now. So it's just just us two here. And. Uh, yeah, it's lovely and peaceful. Lovely, isn't it? Lovely, <laughs> yeah, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, all right. Just pushing it off. <laughs> well done. Here we go. First one. Oh, he's actually quite a nice fish. There we go. Nice grey one. Look, looks a bit skinny. Looks a bit spawned out, but. We're off the mark. Well, that is, well, it's a hair's width over 40 pound. Okay, yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> 40 pound. Fish still jumping out there. 
they're active all right i didn't expect to get one this soon but there we go 40 pound of chavignac mirror first evening and uh I've still got the t-shirt on I travelled up in. <laughs> Never even got round to putting a mashy t-shirt on. Didn't have time. But there we go. Another quick start. Yeah, and a nice one. Yeah, just, just a touch over 40 pound. <sighs> okay. Let's get back, get the rod out. <laughs> oh, right. Happy days, eh? Right. Ooh. Certainly an eventful first night. I mean, literally got here and just spread rods out different spots without really looking too hard. And uh, yeah, we've ended up with uh, four fish but yeah that, that lovely 40 pound mirror yesterday evening gets off the mark and uh, yeah this morning just now a nice 40 pound common yeah nice one it's been a good start anyway so so I've got loads of rods to get out again so it's going to be a busy day today getting sorted properly maybe put a bigger better bait out somewhere but um Looks like they're hungry anyway, so righty ho, let's get her back. <sighs> Gonna try something different this time. Last time I was here, we caught loads of fish um, all over really. And yeah, putting them all out with the bait boat, some down by the dam, some over here, some at the top end. This time, I'm going to try something a little bit different and put a marker out because you're allowed to use this little boat. There's a boat here. And so I'll just drop my engine on. I'm talking quietly because there's fish cruising about out here on the top. But um, yeah, they've mainly been staying sort of two thirds of the way across. So what I'm going to do is put a marker out here and, and put a bit of bait round, about 10 kilos of bait round and sit on it. Well, and just hopefully it's going to work. Rather than little bed bait all over the place. Still, I still have one or two rods if I want uh, different places, but I'm going to have, yeah, probably my three rods. Yeah, this, I don't know if you can see them, movement on the top here. That's about where I'm going to put it. And I have two or three rods just on that. see a koi there, <laughs> an orange koi. I can't see a, a whitey orange one over there as well. There's a couple here actually. When we arrived yesterday that, that was about where they were. to them actually. I thought they would have spooked by now. Look at him. God, he's a nice one, isn't he? Oh, a nice mirror. Oh, there's some good fish down there. Wow. All right. Look, actually, water looks a bit sandy coloured here, which is nice. Right. Okie dokie. I will drop a marker here. And all right, it's going to spook them for a little bit yeah, can't help that but that was a lucky guess wasn't it <laughs> Thank you. 
seems loads, doesn't it? It's only five kilo. And the old days of Lake Reduta, in the end, we were going out and putting like 30 kilos out in one hit. And that was the way to get through to the bigger fish, definitely. If you put little and often out, like you would with a bait boat, every bite going out, putting half a kilo out or something, it gradually create competition, which would end up with the fastest fish getting in there first, which invariably was the smaller fish. So the little ones would actually push the bigger ones out. Whereas baiting up like this, the opposite occurs because there's so much food, the little ones can obviously get in quick, but because there's plenty left, the big ones gradually move in and can push the little ones out. It does spook in the old boat, but you know, haven't got to do it much. Yeah, when people talk about, yeah, I put 10k of boilie out, spotted 10k out and all that. Sometimes I think, did they really? Because <laughs> it's a lot of bait, 10 kilo of boilies. start with the lake did go very quiet for a while and I was just hoping I hadn't messed things up but gradually the fish did return to their spots and uh, yeah it was good to see them around the marker and after a while the signs were definitely there that they were getting their heads down on the bait. Well, I put all that bait out around the marker yesterday and it went very quiet after that, which is, yeah, not surprising. But I did wonder if I'd done a wrong one for a while, but this morning um, it was a, a bit like a jacuzzi out there, so no surprise when one did go off. Yeah, and it's a nice chunk. Yeah, just over 40 pound again, 40 pound eight. But yeah, so they got on it. <laughs> Takes them a little while sometimes when you put a lot of bait out, but the aim was not to catch faster, but to catch better fish really. You know, there's a few little ones we've had now, smaller ones, but uh, the aim of putting more bait out was to get through to the better stamp. And well, if this is the stamp of fish, then yeah, it shows its work. So there we go. On the rig front, uh, it's the usual slip D. I'm using a, a 20mm bottom bait and 15mm pop up, and this is all with the new bait that's on test from Nash. Um, that's been, God, it's been doing fantastic things. I've been catching really well everywhere I've taken it. It's what I used in Slovakia, and uh, yeah, it's business as usual, it seems here. Getting uh, loads of action on it anyway. Uh, yeah, that's fished on the old slip D anyway on a helicopter rig and it's just that uh, don't lose so many legs really you know getting uh, all these bites 
Um, don't want to keep losing leads all the time, so that's fished on a helicopter setup with a, a three ounce pair lead and uh, yeah, about a 10 inch hook length, I suppose, something like that. I've been giving them a fair old bit of bait. You know, I'm here to test it, so that's what I'm doing. I'm testing it, I'm giving them plenty of it and they're just loving it, but yeah, they're the 20s. And yeah, it's a lovely, nice, dark fish meal and uh, just a very good quality bait and yeah, the fish are just loving it. So, right, without further ado, that one's got to go out and uh, yeah, get ready for the next one. How are you doing? Okay. <laughs> it's fighting a bit now. It's giving Giving a bit, taking a bit. Yeah, I've had enough. <laughs> yeah, all spawned out, but God, beautiful. Yeah, we just got the blockhouse up this week, which I think last time we had the, the Titan T3, which was lovely. I mean, the swims are big and spacious and they're nice and flat. That's a nice thing. But uh, the blockhouse, yeah, there's plenty of room for a couple of beds in there and a big table. Yeah, very comfortable. And just up there, I don't know if you can see that bag up there, that's just covering the power point. These swims down this bank have got power points, which are really useful. It's great keeping everything <laughs> totally charged up, you know, bait boat batteries or camera batteries or or whatever. The only thing I didn't bring was a lead that was long enough. I mean, the lead goes to the base of the tree there. So I'm charging everything up. Um, if I'd brought a longer lead or a couple of leads, I could have actually had it so it goes in, in the bivy, which would have been a little bit better probably. But um, yeah, no hardship doing stuff there. And it's there, yeah, like I say, it's really nice. Be able to, being able to have everything charged up all the time without having to run around all over the place it's all very very comfortable fishing very good fishing and uh, yeah nice facilities there's a good chance of it getting picked up yeah
Oh, common. <laughs> Right. Oh, he's a nicer one, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Whew. It. God. They're so strong, aren't they? Blimey, everything's pulling your arms off. <laughs> yeah, just over 48. 48 and a quarter. Oh, that's nice. That's a better one. You deserve that, Pete. Cool, yeah. Nice to get a better one anyway. Whew. I was watching so much activity around that marker. I put out a load of bait yesterday. I put out about another five kilos this evening. And all the activity seemed to be centred around that marker. And uh, just, well Jonah just had a, an 18 pound scaly on one of the other rods. And then one of the marker rods did go off. Yeah, and a better one at last. Lovely, just over 48 pound. Lovely, chunky common. God, I'm gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> um, the actions, yeah, been pretty hectic. I mean, we're only two nights in, that's 12 fish, I think, something like that. But this is the best one so far, so yeah, very happy with that. Right, it's nearly dark now, so uh, getting back and yeah, get that rod out while I can still see what I'm doing. But that's nice, very pleased with that. Well, this is inside the chalet and I don't had a look at it last year, but they've made some nice improvements. They decorated throughout in here and God, the noticeable thing is it's red hot outside and it's lovely and cool in here. And yeah, nice flat screen TV on the wall there. And uh, yeah, futon, I don't know what you call them, futon or something, that pulls out to a bed anyway. But, you know, if there's families or whatever, or if the football's on the TV, everyone can meet up in here and have a few beers and watch the football. The other thing they've done, which is really nice, used to be a big kitchen in the back. And they've made a kitchen in this area, which was just a walkthrough. So now we've got a fridge, sink, uh, everything, cooker, even a dishwasher there. And the toilets and the showers just outside. Uh, and they're going to make a bedroom in there, which, yeah. Yeah, they're always thinking about new improvements. But um, this is lovely. Really nice job what they've done here. And yeah, I mean, there is one toilet in there. Um, yeah, <laughs> you know what a toilet looks like, but there it is. And um, the shower block there, two, two showers, sinks, and another fridge freezer there for, you know, food and a few boilies maybe. But yeah, very nice, very nice. And this is all for, for the anglers and families, you know. And gradually, I mean, this is still work in progress. There's still doing this as time goes on um but it's becoming well it was already a nice place when we came last year but it's becoming very special with what they're doing here and yeah not only for anglers but for their families as well they've uh, created something very special here <laughs> For us, a lake has to be more than just about catching carp. You know, there's plenty of places out there these days that, you know, are well stocked with carp. But, you know, it's nice when it has that special feeling, a place where you can sit down, chill out, and just really enjoy being there. And yeah, this is definitely right up there when it comes to that proper chilled out fishing, 
relaxing, really enjoyable. But of course, you know, there were plenty of fish as well. There you go, well spawned out he is, but still 38 pound. He would have been probably a mid 40 last week sometime, <laughs> beginning of last week, but there we go. In good nick, spawned out and very hungry. Love the shape of some of these mirrors. They're like absolute breeze blocks, aren't they? 35 pound. <laughs> and the pick of the morning's action in every way really. Biggest one and uh, the nicest looking one. Lovely dark one. Some lovely scales down on the rest of the tail there. Yeah, just over 40 pound, 40 pound and a quarter, 40 pound six, something like that. Didn't take much notice of the ounces once the needle was past 40, but lovely, isn't he? What a lovely fish. And uh, yeah, the best of a hectic morning spell. <laughs> that old saying now, time to get him back, get the kettle on and have a cup of tea, because I need it. <laughs> ah, it's been busy, but it's been good. Having a great time here at Chavignac. It's It's a fantastic lake, it really is. Loads of good fishing here. And uh, yeah, we're seeing some of them, aren't we? There we go. Right, let's get back. Oh, it's nice now. It has been really hot today. Jean Noël was down earlier and he was saying the local village was shutting a lot of the shops um, early because it was just too hot for people to be out. So. There we go. It's nice here in the shade, but um, it's been hot. If you're not in the shade, it's been hot. So it's nice that it's cooling down a little bit now and it looks better for a bite. Fish are showing around the markers and uh, yeah, it feels like a bite ain't too far away now. It's been quiet um, last few hours. I had three fish today, three, well, three carp and the sturgeon. Um, so, you know, it's still been a decent day, but I think there'll be a couple more along this evening we'll see so by all accounts that the fish spawned last week I mean it, it's 100% that's well done and dusted now fish are all in the middle areas so lower last year I was a, a month or two earlier and got here before well before the spawning and um, yeah busy time that was we still had quite a few fish this week but yeah just a nice big fish or two to finish up the week would be nice but it's certainly looking good at the moment for a bite, so I wouldn't be surprised in the next hour or something like that, get another fish or two. So let's yeah, just hope it's one of them big ones, eh? for an evening bite and sure enough yeah just as it's cooling down nicely god it's been hot this afternoon but it's lovely now it's been fish showing all over the place out there especially around my marker
That is a fatty one. <laughs> God, blimey. over 49 <laughs> getting closer to 50 well they do come in all shapes and sizes don't they <sighs> that is a big fat mama but very nice just short of 50 pounds but there's bigger ones to help me out <laughs> Okay, now do Oh, a lovely early morning chunk. Been close a couple of times, 48 common, 49 mirror. And yeah, of course was just hoping to get one of those 50s that live in here. And uh, well, got one, it's been a quiet night. Uh, had a little scaly one in the night, which was nice. But then just now it ripped off with this absolute beauty on the end. <sighs> a 52 pound. Look at that. It's a cracker, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. I know it's only numbers on a dial, but I was just hoping to get past 50 pound. And there it is. Happy days. <laughs> right. Mwah. Let's get back. Uh, it's a bit of a drizzly, murky morning this morning. Last morning, bivvies all down, just the rods to go, just uh, sitting out under the tree, just hoping for one last cut. But it's been quite actually, quite night. Um, first fish this night we've had actually, but don't mind that. We had a good sleep anyway, so which helps for the journey home today. So. We'll give it five minutes, something like that, get the rods in and uh, go up and yeah, say our goodbyes to Fabienne and Catherine and Artur and <laughs> Jean-Noël who will all be up there at the, uh, the clubhouse waiting for us. So yeah, we'll have a cup of coffee with them probably, say our goodbyes. Yeah, they're lovely, really, really nice people. Made us so welcome, they really have. And uh, yeah, it's... 
it's always nice to see them as much as it is to come and fish the lake but yeah it's been a great week we've had some nice fish you know it's um well it's, it's been a tricky period of the year on quite a few lakes in the area and uh, so we've done all right here we've had quite a few fish i think 28 fish or something like that so and finished up catching a 50 as well so that's yeah, been good so yeah what's left now get the rods in and uh, we'll be on our way see you next time